Well, you've seen the original and you've labored through the sequels, but today you're getting a remake. No, I'm not talking about the Star Wars saga. Today I'm talking about my old series, Displays for Dummies. Well, what's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, today we're going to be doing a remake of our classic series Displays for Dummies. But before we get into that, I do want to say thank you to each and every one of our almost 3,000 thousand subscribers that is the goal we're pushing for we're about 200 away from 3,000 so if you can help me get there by giving me a presumptive like and subscribing to this channel I would certainly appreciate it that's the goal that we're reaching for right now but let's get into this today as I said we're diving back in time going back to our original series displays for dummies and you would say be thinking what are you talking about when it comes to this well a long time ago when I first started six scale collecting I I started a series called Displays for Dummies. People were asking, where do you get your cabinets? What type of lights do you use? What are those risers? And things like that. So I've done several different videos within that series. We've talked about the cabinets. We've talked about the lighting. And since then, we've talked about wireless accessories that can help you power your displays. We've talked about weatherproofing. We've talked about all kinds of different things. So I thought, okay, now that we have all these different videos, it now is the perfect time to come together and make the Displays for Dummies the definitive guide. Yes, that's right, the definitive guide to our displays. So with that being said, we're going to give you all the information all in one video. So hopefully you are strapped in and you're ready for this content today. Yes, so let's go back to the displays for dummies and going back to the displays of choice that I picked, that being the IKEA Detoff. You look around me and I'm surrounded by IKEA Detoffs. That is the name of these cabinets behind me and that is the name of the cabinets that I use. Now that is good for me. It may not be good for you, but that is good for me. Me. Whether you're using Detoffs, whether you're using Billy Bookcases, whether you're using Maji cases, it doesn't matter. As long as you are protecting your figures. I've said before that we've spent so much money on these figures, they are due the proper service and display that we can provide for them. And for me, as I said, for me, that is the IKEA Detoff. So that brings us back to the point of this video. Recently, I decided that I was going to add a few more IKEA Detoffs to my display and to my collection. You say, okay, well, where do I get these? Well, it's right in the name, IKEA. Yes, go to IKEA.com and you can find all kinds of different types of storage facilities and different things like that. You can find your Billy bookcases, you can find your Detoffs, find the display cabinet that is right for you. But I was able to go and get those because most recently when I went to checkout, I was able to get these delivered for a flat fee of $35 to a Nashville warehouse. It certainly beats driving to Atlanta, it certainly beats driving to Memphis, and it certainly meets driving to Cincinnati to pick up those, and those are all the different places I've gotten them in the past. So check out your options for when you're deciding on whether or not you're going to get some of these cabinets, and check to see if they have delivery, obviously, or if they have a pickup option at a warehouse nearby. If they do, that sounds great, go ahead and pick them up. So that is where we're at with this. I was going to add five new Detoffs to my display cases and to my collection. So we are going to dive into this today by starting with these Detoffs and how to assemble them and how to ultimately get the most out of them. We're going to talk about obviously the risers that we use. We're talking about the actual cabinet itself and how to the best way to put those together as well as the lighting, the best lights to use, any type of power accessories, any type of Wi-Fi plug extensions to be able to turn yours on remotely. All that stuff is going to be covered in this video. So strap in and we're going to show you from the buildup 
all the way to the finale of being able to put the figures into these cases. So this has been shot in real time. I have my cabinets assembled sitting right in front of me, so it was a success. So enjoy this with me as we dive through and answer some of your questions. But before we do that, let me know down in the comments what type of displays that you're using. Are you using DTOFs? Are you using bookcases? What works for you? I want to know. Sound off in the comments below. So without further ado, do let's get into this picking up right where I began with assembling all five of these detoffs putting them on my risers that we're going to talk to without the doors yes there's a point why the doors were left off so let's get into it right now so here we have it five fresh detoffs that we're going to be adding to the collection and I've said before that vertical real estate is something very important. So that's why I moved some pieces out and put these new detoffs in. So let's take a look here at the risers. Now these are Ikea Calyx right here, but these are Target versions. And as you can see, they come in twos. So you just kind of stack them together and the effect works just the same. It still gets the job done. And as you can see, here you have it, and that's what you put the detoffs on. Grab these from Target. Now, with this, the whole reason I use them is to allow it to hide the wires and make it a little more visibly appealing. So now we're about to do something called weather stripping. And what do you know? Here is some rubber foam weather seal. I've used these before, and because we have the doors off, we're going to kind of run them right along the frame, as you will see. So that makes things a lot easier. So let's go ahead and get it out and add it in. So weather stripping is in and we're gonna pull it off. And isn't that so satisfying? See it all work itself out. And as you can see, here it is. Sticks right on there, self-adhesive. And in a perfect world, when you shut the door and seal it, it should be sealed. But one of the things you can do is that it takes two sides for one roll. So keep that in mind, two sides for one roll. If you want to end up doing it at the top, you can. I chose not to do that, but there we go. Now, next up is the shelving. And as you know, it's got the wire frames and it gives you these little rubber stoppers to kind of put the glass shelves on and then you just kind of let it rest on top. But what do you do if you have bigger figures? What do you need to do if you have a raised shelf? Well, that's not gonna do anything for it. So thankfully, just drop these out and grab these a 3 16th wire rope clip and this is what i use to raise your shelves you need two of these essentially to raise one shelf so we're going to show you how to put these on into the detoff so that you can have a nice raised shelf and that's the final effect and it works great for bigger figures so let's put these in and i'll show you how it's done so here is the figure or rather statue in question and as you can see if the shelf was there he would run out of room so we need to raise this shelf what do we do so what i like to do is kind of use my magic marker here and kind of gauge where the shelf kind of needs to be and i'm going to make a mark so i'm going to use my marker and kind of gauge that it's going to be about about right here and i will put a dot there i will officially measure it to actually see where I need to put from there to the top to make it a consistent all the way around. So let's go ahead and put the marks on here and get our measurement. So this is not rocket science. As you can see, I marked it at four and a quarter. So I will take that ruler and mark four and a quarter all the way around on each side. So once you take the pieces apart, this is what you have. You have the actual clip, you have your nuts, you have your fastener. And I do want to say that when you do put it on, make sure the flat side is up. There it is, as you can see. Because you wanna use the flat side because that is where the plate's going to lay. So less issues of having any breaks or anything wrong there. Because you can see it's a little bit rough on the under portion, as you can see. So flat side up. So let's get the other four in here and see if it works. There it is. There is our risen shelf. Don't worry about those fingerprints. We'll fix that a little later on. But it's raised, and we have real estate. And when you take a step back, once we put the lights in, I think you should have a real nice effect. So looks like a success. It just rests right there. And that is how you raise a shelf. And it gives you more real estate to be able to add bigger figures or put another shelf in there. Whatever floats your boat, whatever works for you. 
So now let's get the shelves in. And we are making incredible progress, as you can see. Got the little stoppers on there, the shelves are in. Added our clips in for our ray shelves. So we're really getting somewhere. We're getting real close to be able to add figures. Now though, we need to get some lighting in these bad boys. So let's talk about the type of lights that we use, the best strips to use, and how do you hide the cables? Let's get into that next. Now stay with me here. Now when I originally bought all these lights, they came here in packs of six. These are from C Frank, and I've given you the link to those down in the description. Now if you have a DTOF, you only need about four or three lights, depending on it is, but I have leftovers. So what am I going to do? I have a bunch of extra lights. The only thing with this is that there are no power supplies. Each set only comes with one for the six lights. So what am I going to do? Life hack, call Amazon. And this strip power supply is going to feed these light strips. So I can use all these extra lights with this power supply. So I'm really only out like $8 for you know a brand new set of lights. So pretty good ROI. So this is what it is and that is linked in the description or rather the comments below. Now in order to get this mini lit, you're going to need a lot of power. So I went ahead and grabbed this from Walmart. As you can see, it's got multiple outlets that are spaced appropriately, and you don't have to worry about them overlapping, cable stretching, any nightmares like that. So I'm gonna light them up. I'm gonna hide that strip behind. That way you don't see any of the unsightly wires, but that's gonna be our power plug. But let's talk about this. This is our Wise Smart Plug. You plug this in and then plug the power strip into that, and you can use your phone to turn your displays on and off. Really, really cool. I think you got them at Home Depot, you get them off Amazon, whatever works for you. But this is what I use to turn on all my displays remotely. So let's plug this in, let's plug in the power supply, and then get these lit up. So as you can see, it is powered up, obviously. So let's go ahead and stick it on and uh-oh, it's not long enough. What are we going to do? Well, thankfully I thought of everything and that means we have an extender cable. So this is another little thing that you can grab off of Amazon. Once again, the description is having all the information below. So let's make sure to grab an extender if you think you may need it. And just as a reminder, these are extremely simple to put on. It comes with these little pieces of double-sided tape. Stick those on there, and then you just stick it firmly onto the glass. And it holds really, really nice. So just go ahead and put that on, put a little bit of pressure, and boom! You have a nice light, and that's how you install it. Now, the next thing is trying to get all the cable management, and that's an important piece as well. Want to hide all those unsightly cables. Now, it does come with quite a bit of extra cable, but let's get that situated by using some cable ties. Very, very simple. Grab those from Walmart. I think they're like a dollar for a hundred. And all you do is just kind of go in there, tighten it up, make it real clean, and you can go from that to this. Pretty simple. All you have to do is then just take your tool, go in here, snip off the excess, and boom. Just like that. So all the lights are in, all the wires have been hidden and put back together with the exception of those because um, that's going to come into our next step talking about the doors. So that's what we're going to be putting on next, these big heavy pieces the doors. This is the heaviest part. This is why I left them off. So then we will be able to be very close to be putting in figures. So as I mentioned, there is a reason that I did not put the doors on and I using them last. They're extremely heavy and sometimes it's very challenging to move DTOFs around with those doors on, especially if you have to lift them up onto the risers. So let's get these doors and put them onto it. So this is all you need. It comes obviously with the displays themselves and these are the little joints. These are the little things that you use to pull to open the door. So make sure to follow the instructions properly. Don't listen to what I say or take any shortcuts. So make sure to follow the instructions as I said but let's get these doors on so boom there it is the doors are on all five doors are on and uh, it's looking pretty good the fasteners on the shelves are in the wires are hidden we're just about done to load these bad boys up added these down here to hide some cables left one out just in case I need to make any other adjustments but 
there is one last thing I'm forgetting. What could it possibly be? And that is my accent lighting. As you know, it is a staple of my displays and something I've always been passionate about is my accent lightings. Now I use these at the top and these are called Philips Hue. I've talked about them multiple times. You end up putting them on both sides here and you can control it from your phone. You know, the little app, pick any color, but you now have a third highlight, a third accent light. Now I will say, I'm probably going to replace all the lights up top eventually, mainly because uh, this piece had been cut to about half the size of what it used to be, and I was trying to fit it onto some other different pieces of furniture, so this is modified. Um, the, doesn't look as bright, but you get the idea, but you get an idea of how the aesthetic looks, and you have an idea of what it looks like. So now that we have everything in, it is time to fill it up with figures. Now, as I've said, shelf presence and uniformity is everything in a display. So how do you get the most out of it? How do you get to make it lot look cluttered, make it look uniform? Well, one thing I've been using and doing are using these acrylic risers. And you guessed it, you can get these off of Amazon. The link is in the description below. So these work great. This is all it is. It's just a little tiny plastic riser. You can get them for really cheap and you use them as a riser to put your figures and kind of get a bigger figure in the back. And I'll also say that when it comes to displays, you want to allow breathability. You don't want figures stacked on each other. You want them to be able to move around and be able to see the figures. But what do you do if it's all stacked together and you have too many figures? With that, you stack heights, put some bigger figures in the back, put some smaller figures up front to the side, use a riser, different things like that to really elevate your display. So do those things and I think you'll be really pleased with the result. And here we have it. Here's the results, all of its glories, the final pieces added into the Detoff. And as you can see, I've allowed for some room of growth. I can add additional shelves, I can raise figures up, I can add additional figures in. It doesn't matter. I have some rooms and opportunities for growth. I can move those helmets out, whatever it may be. But this is what's gonna work for me. Let me know, as always, what works for you. But here comes my final thoughts. But let's take a look real quick at this progression. You can see the way they were, the weather stripping, adding in the shelves, adding in the lights, adding in the different cable supplies, cleaning that up, adding the accent in, and then boom, there's our final. Well, that's going to do it for us here today. As you can see, it was a success putting those five DTOFs together, getting the figures inside, getting it lit up. Fantastic. I got a lot of room and expansion opportunities in the future. I can't wait to see what is in store. Let me know down below in the comments what type of displays you're going to use. Did any of this that I talked about today help you in your decision? Did you learn something? Is it too much information? Let me know what you think of this video. Also, let me know if there's things that you want me to address. Say, hey, this is what I want to hear from you. Because as I've always tried to do, I try to respond to every comment in our videos and I want to know what is going to be most beneficial to you. So let me know down below. Once again, that's going to do it for us, but I will be seeing you in our next video.